Hello guys, welcome back for episode 3 of our Unique Items Guide in Oblivion. Today we're going to be finding unique gauntlets. This will be split into two parts, as there are quite a lot of gauntlets in the game. So the first pair we're going to find today are the Bands of Quang Lao, located in the Imperial City Arena. So fast travel there, and you should spawn at this part of the map. Turn on right, and you will find these two training. The gauntlets are located within this chest over here, and there are two ways to obtain them. By lockpicking, and by pickpocketing. We'll show you both. The first option on obtaining these gauntlets is to lockpick. Because Branwyn and Salith are trading all day in the courtyard, you might be spotted. Your best bet is to go behind the crates and pillar and lockpick through the gap. Because of the purpose of this video as a walkthrough, we're just going to auto attempt. But please feel free to try the real way. Inside the chest are the bands of Quang Lao along with some various adventure books and 100 gold. We will now show you the second way of obtaining the gauntlets. The second way of obtaining these gauntlets is slightly more devious. Around about 3am, these two gladiators take a break from all their training, making them a prime target for pickpocketers. Avoid Salith because he has no key. Approach Branman and use the same technique as earlier. Steal the key and approach the chest. And the gauntlets are yours. So the bands of Quang Lao, as seen here, improve your hand to hand by 20 points on self, while also being considered light armor. Please note, you might want to also sell them to a fence and buy them back to remove the stolen status. Another notable mention about these two is if you watch some training for a while, you get this message. This is just a helpful tip. The second item on our list is the gauntlets of the drunkard. This can be found in Anvil. So fast travel to the lighthouse, head down the dock, and go into the flowing bowl, which is found here. Hi there. How goes it? So upon entering the flowing bowl, you're going to move past this orc and speak to Maylorn, the shopkeeper. I'm Maylorn. I'm the twin in brown, remember? So open up his bar and Have purchase the fist of the drunkard for a hefty price. Prices. And there you go. There's the fists of the drunkards. We will now show you some of the abilities of the Fists of the Drunkard. As well as having a relatively rare texture, they're considered heavy armour and fortify strength and endurance on self. They will however drain your intelligence and willpower, much like as if you'd had a drink. We will now show you these gauntlets in action. By Oh, don't hurt me. The final pair of gauntlets which we'll be covering in this episode are the Gauntlets of Gluttony, located within the Hammer and Axe in Bruma. Travel to the north gate and turn right upon entering. You'll come across the Hammer and Axe located here, and head on inside and purchase them from the shopkeeper. Once inside, speak to the shopkeeper, Pio Reed. Look in his inventory. What can I interest you in? And there they are. Quite a hefty price, but we'll now show you I the abilities. Appreciate. The Gauntlets of Gluttony are considered heavy armor and fortify strength, amazingly so. This is very good as it is in fact increasing an attribute rather than just a skill. However, it will drain health on self, which can be quite a major drawback at higher levels. We'll now show you them in action. Another unique thing about the Gauntlets of Gluttony is the red aura that surrounds them. This is not often seen in gauntlets, so it's quite unique. Another weird thing about the gauntlets is that although once you equip them, they show up as orcish gauntlets, their icon appears to be that of iron gauntlets. The unique items we found in this episode are the bands of Quang Lao, the fists of the drunkard, and the gauntlets of gluttony. In the next episode, we'll be finding the remaining unique gauntlets in the game. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment.